Hello everyone, welcome back to the Blockman Editor tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. In this video, we will introduce the game perspective. Let's take a look at the two scenarios in the video. The first scenario, when the entity stands on the pink region of the stage, the game perspective will move away from the entity and rotate, and views the entire stage instead. The second scenario, when the entity enters the tunnel, the game perspective will change to the first person perspective, and the entity will go through the tunnel with that perspective. To achieve these effects, you need to use the settings related to the game perspective. Enter the editor, click game settings, select perspective, and here we can make some adjustments and settings for the game perspective. In the basic property setting, initial perspective is to set the initial perspective of the entity when it enters the game. By default, only the first person perspective and the back perspective are enabled in the editor. The remaining three views need to be enabled before they can be selected. Players are allowed to change perspectives after the allow perspective switch property is enabled. When an entity enters the game, the game perspective will have a default orientation, which is determined by two properties. The initial angle of pitch determines whether the entity is looking up or down when it enters the game, with values ranging from minus 90 to 90, with negative values representing looking up and positive values representing looking down. The initial horizontal angle determines the initial horizontal orientation of the entity when it enters the game, ranging from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. We can input different values and enter the game to see the outcome. When we use the first person perspective, we can only see the hands of the entity or the weapon item held in the hands of the entity. This perspective is often used in FPS genre games. There are two properties in this perspective that can be adjusted. The field of view property controls the distance that the player can see. When the swipe screen to rotate perspective property is checked players can swipe their screens to control the perspective of the game. When we use the back perspective, we can see the back of the entity, and when we rotate the perspective, the body of the entity character will also rotate with it. This perspective is often used in TPS genre games. Let's have a look at the three properties in this perspective. The camera distance property allows you to adjust the camera to be closer or away from the entity. Camera offset is to set the distance between the camera and the entity. For example, modify the value of the y-axis in the coordinates so that the camera creates a certain distance from the entity. For the wind view is block property, it will automatically advance the camera to the front of the obstacle if the automatic forward movement of camera option is selected and the camera encounters an obstacle. When we use front perspective, our perspective will only be the front of the entity. The properties of this perspective are similar to those of the back perspective, so we won't go over them again here. When we use following perspective, we can see the whole body of the entity and the perspective will not rotate when the entity rotates its body. Compared to the back perspective, the following perspective is more flexible. You don't have to keep staring at the back of the entity. The properties of the following perspective are also similar to those of the back perspective, so we won't go over them again here. When we use fixed perspective, the camera is fixed in one position and does not move with the entity. Both map properties and coordinate properties are included in the video camera coordinates property in this perspective. When using it, check the map first and then the coordinates. In addition to setting the perspective in the game settings, we can also set the perspective in a region. In the game resources view, click new region in the lower right corner, drag the region to the part, and adjust the position and size of the region. Select the rotate camera property in the properties view, enable camera rotation, adjust the rotation time, pitch angle and horizontal angle values etc. Run the game, and when entity enters the region, the game perspective will start to rotate. Then look at the region perspective properties. In enable region perspective, 
select perspective type for the first person perspective. Adjust the field of view. The properties in perspective type are the same as those described above. Run the game, and when the entity enters the tunnel, his perspective changes to first person perspective, but after it leaves the region, the perspective is restored. To learn more about the settings of the region, you can watch the tutorial videos about the region. If you are interested in learning more about perspectives, please check out the user manual. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to becoming a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.